guys, it's your boy Beamon, and welcome back to the Pokemon Career Mode. Yes, the Pokemon Career Mode. Now, if you're a little bit confused, that means it's your first time here, it's okay. Go ahead, click right here, ding, and that'll bring you to the first episode, which will review you over all the rules and stuff. But I will be explaining the rules as we go along, so have no fear, have no fear. In the last episode, it was freaking nuts. We did manage to lose up against Juventus, so unfortunately, we weren't able to grab any of that uber, uber talented team, but we were able to uh, get draws up against Napoli. Torino and Hull City netting ourselves a pretty good center back in Enrique and a really really decent CM in Tom Huddleston and some guy from Torino. But in this episode we're still in the summer transfer window which means we got two more games where we can possibly capture some good players and that is up against Tottenham and Sunderland. One of these teams is better than the other. Enough of my blah blah blah, blah. let's get it into the game. Alright guys, we're going to take a look at the calendar right here. As I said before, two games left in this summer transfer window. Really excited about that Tottenham game. Hopefully we can get a good young developmental player. A lot, a lot of good young players on that team. And Sunderland is of course Sunderland. But if we take a look ahead guys, the next episode is going to be Manchester United and Wolfsburg. Oh my goody goodness. And I don't know, shouldn't I be doing more than two games? you know, per episode, get us maybe quicker to the next transfer window, as we do put in this offer for Tom Huddleston for 3 mil, see if we can get him on the cheapsy cheats. And we are switching up the formation right here, we're going to be moving it to a more compact 4-3-3, this is a formation that I have used in previous career modes in the Parma as well as the Luton Town career modes, and they've done me mighty mighty well, and our personnel does really fit. Uh, this type of formation. We're gonna put Zirkovic up top, Dongu Tafak out on the left, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and advance it right here, see what Hull City does, and a transfer offer unacceptable. They only want 300 grand more, and I'll gladly give it to them because I'm uh, Barcelona, and I got the money. I'm rolling in them G's, boy. I'm rolling in them G's. I'll just throw it away, and there we go. Con um, not contract accepted, agreement accepted. And now let's see if we can bring Tom Huddleston, who was, man, I remember, it, it must have been like back when he was on Tottenham, he was one of the best young English like center midfields that you could get in the game, and now he is joining Barcelona, aka the Squirtle Squad, get into the club, my son, still pretty young, 27, can't be on that man, and a good purchase right there, as we take a look at his stats, Obviously, 55 strength speed, not on the great, but not terrible. He's kind of like a more physical Pierlo, if you take a look at his stats. He's got decent free kick, a really good long passing. His long passing and shot power are astronomical, and he's got really good stand tackle as well, and uh, pretty good mental stats and really good vision. So there you guys go. He will be a nice added addition. Pretty much, yeah, anybody would be a nice added addition to this 65 rated squad. But here we go, boys. Here we go, lads up against Tottenham Hotspur. So this is the really weird thing to note. Michel Warm and goal while Hugo Lloris sits on the bench. I don't know what is up with that. Uh, odd decision. Maybe they thought, you know, we're only a 65 rated team. We can probably get away with it. Give Hugo Lloris uh, a rest. And as you can see, there's a new formation. And Tom Huddleston will make his start. Oh, my numbers are messed up. <laughs> I will go ahead and fix that. And tell me, guys, what numbers I should be giving on these new players that I am bringing in. Uh, for now, I'm just giving them the default ones that they had on Barcelona B, at least the main guys. And now we're going to go into this game right here. Townsend coming inside. Who's going to play it into? And great interception right there by our new boy, the Brazilian center back, Enrique. And there, our first touch for the other new boy, Tom Huddleston, as we play it out to Dongo Tafak. And he cuts inside. What is he going to do? Slid tackle, but it falls gently to Huddleston. And we are got something going right here. Suarez plays Adama inside. What does he do? He cuts inside, plays the through pass. What happened? <laughs> And we somehow sneak it past four. What was Vertolgen doing? Just fell asleep on the backdoor pass. I don't even know that's a basketball term right there. Go Dubs, by the way, my hometown team. But look at Halilovic, and this is a shocker. Watch what Michelle Vorm does right here. Let's it just trickle in underneath his left boot right there. I'm dead sure if Loris was in this game, he is punching that out. A terrible shot, but somehow finds his way back in, but then Tottenham tries the audacious Kapue with the overhead kick. Part of me was like, oh hell no, and the other part was like, I want to see it go in. <laughs> part of me just loves the beautiful game, and I wouldn't even been mad at that, but it kept on going on. Chadley hitting it over to Paulinho, who cuts it back to Chadley. What is he going to do? Finds an opening of space. Oh, playing with these defenders is... Oh, the reaction times is so bad. Like, if you go get going in the wrong direction, you are pretty much done with these low ratings. 
But then could we get something right here? Is it possible we could get a second goal? Oh, we are so lucky. It falls to us even through the tackles. And Halilovic, a lot better shot that time. But Michelle Vorm actually doing something. And going into halftime, we somehow maintained the lead of 4-1. And I was like, screw it. We are beating Tottenham. Wall and stall. 45 minutes left. Come on. Wall and stall. We're going to be taking now Denise Suarez. And we're going to bring in on Sergi Justice. Uh, that's probably not how you say his name. And we're putting him in the back. And hopefully we can hold on. But Tottenham wasn't going to let up a great... A uh, free kick right here, and it lands to Chadley. Does he go for the shot? No, it's played out, and this is pretty much what I had to deal with the whole game. Paulinho finds a bit of space. Woo! And every time Andoa caught that ball, I just held on to it for <laughs> a little bit longer. And then, uh, yeah, pretty much us in a shell. We were trying to just clear anything, but it kept on falling to Tottenham. And it, it was just a nerve-wracking 45 minutes. Just me trying to maintain... Trying to maintain form, trying to maintain shape. Please, no, no! Oh, off of the post, Christian Eriksen. Oh, thank God that was on his weaker foot. But these long crosses going in. Great job, Adora. You are a hero today, young man. But this is, I, I got a little bit antsy and I throw it right, right to Townsend who hits it over to Eriksen. And Huddleston is able to pair it away. But what is Justice doing? He just ran away from it, but he gets onto it again. Redemption, oh my god, that would have been the dumbest way to could see, but our defense falls asleep again. How did he get that wide open? Apparently he was offsides. Let's look at the replay. Yeah, he was offsides by a mile. <laughs> but I was not going to take any chances. We're going to go ahead and bring in some fresh legs to try to run it out. Sergi Samper and Sandro into the game. And look at this little play right here with Halilovic. Beautiful, beautiful one-touch passing right here. Giving it the give and go. And Sergi Samper is in. He sees Dunku Tafak who hits it and it's off of Michelle Vorm. He is having a shocker of a day and it will not count. <laughs> because Dunku Tafak was offside. But even then, Jeezy Louisey, Michelle Vorm just having an absolute terrible day at the office. But now uh, still nerve wracking as we got uh, four minutes left in the 94th minute. Please not the 90 minute cheese. Undoa, you lovely hero. The Geo dude punching it out, and now they're gonna whip it in. Can we get something from this? Oh my goody goodness! Just boot it. Let's not be cute. I am cute. I hit it over to Sandro, and I see the goalie is out of the place. So I'm gonna knock it with all my strength, and it's on target. Come on, roll faster! Come on, roll faster! Ah! <laughs> oh, that would have been an incredible way to cap off an incredible day. The wall install is victorious, young lads. We have defeated. Tottenham Hotspur somehow. I don't know why they didn't start Lurie's, but Michelle Vorm, thank you so much for that gift. And now we get one of their players. Oh, all right, yes. I don't know why they didn't start freaking Lurie's in that game, but Halilovic, I don't know how you scored that goal, but we locked it up, and that will award us with a 100% capture of a Tottenham player. Now, I'll pretty much be happy with almost any Tottenham player. Only, I'd say like two-thirds of them are rated around 80 or higher or have a potential of 80 or higher and they're all nice and young, so this is the perfect team to win against. And let's go ahead and dig in here. Let's see what feels good, what feels good. You feel good! Yes! Don't you escape me. This one. This one is pick of destiny. Give me someone amazing. Give me someone incredible. Give me... Harry <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god! I've never played with it before! Oh my god, go to the Pokemon! Go to the Pokedex reference! Harry Kane, the Hurricane-type Pokemon. Beloved child of Jesus and George Best, he was born unto us and named Harry Kane, the Lord Redeemer. Oh my god, I knew it! I knew it! There was one of them, there was just one in there that kept on calling my name and I was like, Alright, I'll pick you! But pretty much Harry freaking Kane, get into the club, my son. The Hurricane has just joined the Squirtle Squad. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just realized I did... Oh my god, I just realized I did the premonition last in the last episode. I was like, I want you, Harry Kane. I want you inside me. Oh my god, I actually... Oh my god. Maybe I should do it for it. Maybe I should do it for Sunderland. Who's good on Sunderland? 
It's a very good question. <laughs> Alright, so the highest rated player on Sunderland is named Jermaine Defoe, so let's keep it going. I want you inside me, Jermaine Defoe. I want you inside me. And there we go, young lads. First things first, we bring in the man, the myth, the legend, the force of nature, the Hura. Kane, oh my goodness, we're gonna go ahead and approach. I looked up how much he was worth on SoFIFA, and he is worth about 6.7 million. So we're gonna go ahead and offer a healthy, healthy 7 mil and see what Tottenham does accept. Oh my goody goodness, for 7 mil, we are getting 84 potential Harry Kane into the club. We're gonna give him an important first team just because, I don't know, I'm, we're, we're always gonna probably play him, but you know, I don't wanna hear him. You know, always whining and stuff, but we're gonna get this thing back. He was like, no, 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 I am I am the Lord Redeemer, Harry Kane. I get crucial first team. And my my bad, my bad, my bad, Lord Redeemer. You can come on in anytime. No means of disrespect. We're gonna go ahead and advance it. And there we go, contract accepted! Harry Kane is now part of the Squirtle Squad. It is no longer known as the Squirtle Squad. If Zirkovich is Squirtle, Harry Kane is freaking Charizard, man. And we're gonna have to switch up this formation again to fit in Zikovic and Harry Kane into the same formation because whoo in that front two look at those stats right there attacking positioning at 84 stamina 84 really good strength really good sprint speed 82 finishing for a 20 year old really good dribbling and ball control free kick accuracy he's not the paciest mofo but he's got pretty good short passing on him as well maybe playing in a center forward position he does seem to play uh, the best kind of in that whole in that whole spot right there and he's nice and tall. We're going to give him the number 18 as we go into this match up against Sunderland at the Camp New, a.k.a. Palatan. And look at that magnificent number 18 for Harry Kane. I did fix most of the numbers uh, for this Barcelona side. Now they have most of the original numbers from the Barcelona B squad. And look at this. We are now going to play a 4-4-2 with Zukovic and Harry Kane up top. And uh, unfortunately, Tom Huddleston has really bad stamina, which I didn't notice. So he's not going to be able to play a lot of games back to back as Duke. He's been coming off of a lot of injury riddled seasons, so understandable. But look at this Sunderland roster. They have Connor Wickham on the bench, uh, which is uh, pretty, pretty. I don't know why they're not starting him over Gia Gia Gira Gira or whatever his name is up top. But I ain't going to be mad at that. If we get a draw, we can get a shot at him. And let's go ahead and get into this game. The aforementioned Giracini whipping it inside to Alvarez, who knocks it off of the crossbar and is back in, but Undo able to recover in time. For a low rated keeper, Undo is pretty darn good, I must say. And look at this, Sergi Sanford's talking about it. Harry Kane is there, but he does not make the jump, and Pantolamon is freaking like 6 7 Z so just came and claimed that easy status right there, and then they're gonna try to build from the back. And look how quickly. They tear us apart. I make the wrong movement. I, I got auto switched and stepped up, and Jermaine Defoe is in. But Andoa, a great punch away. The Geo dude is a rock in the back right there. And now, now unfamiliar to me, I thought we were gonna pretty much, you know, like be on the front foot with the, the likes of Harry Kane. Speaking of which, Harry Kane, Harry Kane. If you guys have seen my my player on best with Harry Kane, I love to take those long shots for no good reason. And that one, that one looked good, man. That one almost snuck in past the monster, Pantelamon. And come on, guys. Let's keep the luck going. I want to get a win in this game. We're going to have them tied at 0-0. And now could we force, you know, maybe a win in the second half right here? I want to get our hands on the one, uh, the two players that I actually kind of want from the starting roster. It's pretty much, oh, what a save by Undoa right there. And then he's going to have to save it again, and we're able to parry it away. But the two players that I am looking for, I and my own um, on um, Sunderland, is Jermaine Defoe up top, though we don't really need another strike. But, yeah, who cares, who cares? And Pantelamon, as he is just a monster in goal. And now we have the big, bad, big daddy Harry Kane playing into Tonku Tavak, who plays it over top to Suarez, and it is knocked away. 90 second minute can to get a counter attack right here. And they call it, and we somehow cannot get past Sunderland after defeating Tottenham. Hmm. Alright, so we got a draw up against Sunderland, which means we can't get any of those starters. I kind of wanted Pentelamon, maybe, you know, uh, a Jermaine Defoe, but unfortunately we can only get one of their bench players and uh, maybe a reserve player. So let's go ahead and dig in here. There is... Connor Wickham was on the bench, so maybe we can get him. Honestly, there's not too many good people on the Sunderland bench, if we're going to be honest. There's not too many good people on the regular Sunderland roster, but we're going to go ahead and get this man right... Oh, shoot! 
Connor Wickham. Connor Wickham, the target man Pokemon. Good strength and height. At his best, holding up play or attacking floated crosses into the box. All right, guys, but you know the rules. It's a draw. So in order for me to capture Connor Wickham, we have to roll a heads right here. <laughs> Damn, man. Damn. I wanted, I wanted Connor Wickham bad too. Oh look, look, it hit by. Should we count that one? Should we count that one? No. <laughs> but with that, I'm pretty much going to conclude this episode of the Pokemon Career Mode. <laughs> what an incredible episode. And I want to say a huge thank you to Channy Sports. I mean, I, all my feelings and emotions, just a million, a million hyper beams to you of, of gratitude. And, and appreciation for giving me the shout out not only on Twitter but also in your live stream it was freaking incredible and I got oh, probably a whole bunch of you new guys almost a hundred subs almost instantaneously because you shouted me out so I cannot say enough amazing things about you I think all you guys already know who he is but if you didn't know that he's streaming he does stream on Twitch now so go ahead and check him out I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description down below and it gets even better Next episode, guys, if we take a look at the calendar right here, we're going up against Manchester United and then Wolfsburg. <laughs> oh my goody goodness, imagine if we can... Oh, I might have to go wall install. I might have to go wall install again against those two teams. Just They're, they're too stacked with talent. I need to draw and maybe grab a player from one of their teams. And then who's that Pokemon? It's... Bali! Well done once again, BCHD Gaming getting the PC PC Kosi Ivern. A lot of you guys got him right away, but once again, BCHD quick to the draw, winning that one once again. So good for you, BCHD. You guys gotta be as fast as Bali if you wanna beat this cat to this game. So that is it for me, B minus. Remember to stay humble, and I only have one question left for you guys.